Logitech makes really good peripherals but they're all held back by its god awful G-Hub app. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology and if you're stuck on an infinite loading loop in G-Hub, here is how you can fix it. Now, the first thing that we're going to do uh, when dealing with an issue like this is to close all G-Hub related processes and then restart the program. How do you do this? Well, you press Windows key plus X to bring up the quick access menu and we are going to click on the task manager from here. Once the task manager opens up, just go ahead and search for G-Hub. You will see it running in the background and what we are going to do is left click and then end task. This will close all background processes for G-Hub. So now if you go to your system tray and uh, left click and click on quit, G-Hub should shut down. And then you can quickly go ahead and check task manager again just to see if, the, if there are any processes running again. As you can see, there is the LZ Hub updater which is running. We don't need it to be running. So we're going to click on end task. Uh, just search to the space, make sure there are no programs running. And now if you try to launch uh, G-Hub, it should fire up just fine. There you go. Give it a minute. Setting my mouse up. Initializing, adding resources. And yeah, we're good to go. So it detects my device properly. If that does not fix your issue, what you can do is head over to the installed apps in your Windows settings. So press Windows key plus X to bring up this menu and click on installed apps. We'll give this a second to load and now we're going to search for G-Hub. Logitech G-Hub software appears. Go all the way to the right, click on these three dots and then click on modify. Give the installer the permissions it needs to run. And here we go. Now you will see the G-Hub installer here, which uh, claims that G-Hub is already installed and appears to be working properly. Now uh, you can launch G-Hub from here right away, or you can click on the reinstall G-Hub option and then go ahead and reinstall uh, G-Hub from scratch. And uh, these two options together should really be able to fix the issue. Now Logitech hasn't given us any explanation on why this issue keeps appearing again and again, but uh, it seems to be some sort of a recursive issue in its code. Regardless, if infinite, uh, if the G-Hub is loading infinitesimally on your system, close G-Hub, close all related processes to G-Hub that you can find and then relaunch it and it does work in 99% of the cases. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.